The plant's most numerous attackers by far are insects. All around me in this Borneo rainforest there are millions of tiny mouths munching away invisibly. To give you some idea of the lengths to which an insect will go in order to get a vegetarian meal in safety, look at this. Clearly it's a badly damaged leaf, but where is the creature that's doing the damage? This is it, a tiny caterpillar. It's soft, it's defenceless, it's clearly an excellent mouthful for many a bird. So, if it is to survive, it has to take steps to protect itself. It starts by making a semicircular cut into the leaf from the margin. But when the cut is only half complete, it starts from the other end. It spins silk across the hinge. That, as it dries, contracts and helps the caterpillar pull over the segment to form a roof. To make its tent a little more commodious, it cuts a pleat, pulls it across, and now it's got a little wigwam. The whole process only takes a few hours and is usually done at night when there are no birds around. Now the caterpillar can feed in safety, shaving off the soft surface layers of the leaf out of the sight of any hungry bird and at significant cost to the plant. <laughs> 